Well, Stephen, just try and sum us that game up. It's, uh, it's difficult to explain. Um, of course, emotions are still running high. You know, I think that was a bitterly disappointing performance, um, and the result proved that. You know, I think we were we were second to everything all over the pitch pretty much throughout the game, and you know, we paid the price. Yeah. What went wrong? It's, it's hard to be a thing with it right now. Um, I'm, I'm unsure myself. You know, I just I just felt we you know we got off to a sloppy start, and you know they've got the goal, and they've got they've got a bit of momentum, and you know we end up being three 0 from from you know from in the first half, and I feel we always give ourselves a mountain to climb. Then and you know disappointed today, for, you know for ourselves and also for the, the you know the travelling fans. You know, we know we've got to be better than that this year, and you know we hope that you know this is the lowest point of, of, of the season. I imagine you knew it was going to be difficult being a, fair, a former Spurs player yourself, but you didn't have you didn't know it would be that difficult. No, I mean you know they were a good side, but I think a lot of it was down to us. Um, you know just to support. Poor, poor showing today. There's, there's no excuses, no hiding. Um, I think we have to, we have to, we definitely have to go and be better against uh, Sunderland at home. And what was said at half time? A lot, you know, you know, the manager obviously unhappy, and so were the players. You know, you know, rightly so. You know, we have, uh, you know, personal pride, and you know, that was that was not evident today. That was, uh, as I said, I felt I just felt we were second to everything, and just weak all over the pitch. And I feel that, you know, if, we, if we're going to stay in this league, we're going to have to be a lot more, a lot more stronger, and uh, a lot more, a lot more passionate at times.